Hi, John Helms here with New Shooter Tips. Today we're going to talk about how to safely clear, load, and unload your firearm. All right, so as I mentioned, we're going to talk about how to properly clear, uh, make sure that your weapon is either loaded, unloaded, whatever status it is that you want. Uh, today we're working with a Springfield Hellcat. We have already previously checked to make sure that there uh, is no round in the chamber and that this is an empty weapon. So the first thing that we always want to do with the uh, firearm when we're clearing it is obviously make sure it's pointed in a safe direction. Uh, so the next thing that we're going to want to do is go ahead and we're going to want to take the magazine out of the magazine well. All guns, uh, or most guns, have a thing called a magazine catch which is generally located uh, just behind the trigger on the left side of the gun. Some guns have a European magazine release which would be located here. But I press down this magazine catch and hopefully the magazine should go ahead and come out and we can see this is an empty magazine. The next thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to want to lock the slide back on the gun. You'll notice that on the left side of this gun there is, for this particular gun, there's uh, two what appear to be levers. Uh, one of them, this one right here, is called your slide catch lever. You'll also notice that on the slide of the gun there's kind of a cutout that is made for this slide catch lever to catch the slide. So what we'll simply do is we'll take the weapon. It's Good to grab these, uh, this area right here because it gives you a little more grip on the gun when you pull it back. I know we also have it here in the front. I don't prefer that because it seems to get my gun or my hand in front of the gun and I always want to, as much as I can, uh, perform good firearm safety. Generally what I like to do is I like to take my thumb and I like to put it underneath the slide catch lever to create a little upward pressure. Then as I pull back the slide, I can go ahead and I can lock that in there. Once that's locked in there, I can go ahead and I can perform, perform my check. I can visually look inside the chamber to see if there's anything there. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do a physical check. I'm going to take my finger and I'm going to place that in there to feel to make sure there's nothing in there. The reason that we do that is this firearm, just like any firearm, is a machine. And sometimes machines don't work correctly. If you have an issue with uh, your extractor, in this gun, it may not pull that uh, round out of your chamber. So this way I go do a good physical and visual inspection of the weapon. I know that the weapon is 100% safe. From here, if you want to clean your gun, you can take down and go through the cleaning procedures for your firearm. Uh, if uh, you want to let the slide go forward and store it that way, that's fine. You can also go ahead and do that. Um, the best way to let the slide go forward is by grabbing the slide, pulling it to the rear, and letting it go. There's a reason that this right here is called a slide catch lever and not a slide release lever. You're going to find in most manufacturers that they're going to recommend if you let the slide go forward, especially if you're reloading or clearing a uh, jam or something of that nature, they want you to grab the slide, pull it all the way back, and then let it go ahead and go forward. From there, if I want to safely store the weapon, whether my magazine is empty or not, I can go ahead and I can place it in the bottom of the magazine well and I can go ahead and I can store the weapon.